Hello everyone. I just wanted to share a project with you that I made in the last couple of days. Uh, first of all, uh, my name is Jeannie. I'm also known as Scrapbooking Mama. I'm a guest design team member with Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on the Facebook page. Uh, they also have a, an online store, and I'll put all the links to the design team members and to the store and the boutique below in my description. First of all, this is my project. I made it from the kit, the January kit. It's the notes and things made by Crate Paper, uh, which I purchased through the boutique. This is a box that I had made. I created the box and covered the box with gesso first to prime it up so I could put either other paint on it or other paper on it. And instead of uh, putting other paint on it, I went ahead and just decorated it with a paper. This background paper here was a brighter color, but I wanted to mute it a little bit, so I put gesso on it, and then I whitewashed it, and I had put a little bit more pink into it, and then I whitewashed it. And uh, then this here, today is the day. The embellishments and all these embellishments came from the boutique. Um, the stamp, the little butterfly stamp, I just got that just in time yesterday to get it onto my project. And it's made by Prima, it's the butterfly clear stamps. And I just got that, so that was exciting for me. The pearls came from the boutique. I had some of these other th items in my stash. This little piece right here came from the boutique also. And the little pink piece underneath, burlap is uh, also from the boutique from another kit and this here was gifted by a friend Shirlene and she had given me this and another friend Tammy had given me some of these other pieces like this so these were in my stash from them anyway first of all I put lace around it and I had won a door prize from Loretta How Har Harwell sorry Loretta Harwell I had uh, won a door prize and included in that door prize with this lace. So there's the back of it right there. I don't know if you can see it there. This is the paper that I had muted. It was a brighter color. I don't know how clear you can see it. My lighting isn't the best. My husband's going to be making me some new cabinets and stuff. So and there's my front of the box there. This came from the boutique. And it's magnetized, which that came from the boutique. Today is the day that came from the boutique from the kit page packet. And I open it up. Oh, before I do that, I want to show you first. This ribbon here was a cream color, and I really didn't want cream because I wanted mostly to be white in color. So I had taken the uh, paint that I had in my stash and I had acrylic painted it over it and turned it into this, basically this color, maybe a shade darker, but it came out really good. I was very pleased with that. So anyway, I open it up. Like I said, it's got a little magnet to it. Open it up and inside I have my album. But before I show you my album, the inside of it, I want to show you this paper right here. This paper also came into that in that kit, the January kit. It was originally this color. See the difference on it. But I want like I said, I wanted to mute everything a little bit. So again, I had taken gesso, primed it with gesso, and then I had uh whitewashed it, and then I had sprinkled some of the uh acrylic paint on there and let it drip down. I held it up so it would drip down and then I had whitewashed it again just to give it that color on top of this so this wouldn't be so bright. So that was this and I turned it into this. I don't know how well you can see that with my lighting again but let's see if I can anyway that's what it came out to be. So I was very pleased with the result of that. It was a new technique I had learned. And now my album. This came from the boutique. I had um, used the chameleon markers on this, the pins, on, on this butterfly right here. This was in the kit. 
and I'm trying to think. this was a piece I had cut out from the kit and, I, and then I had had just glazed it up and want that that glaze I put on top of it because I wanted it to show and this little charm on the back was in my stash so I included that on it and the butterfly once again I love this little butterfly it's adorable it also has a tiny fairy in it and a tiny heart and a mason jar stamp in it I love that butterfly it's probably my favorite of all of them so I open it up I pretty pretty well made it simple I didn't want to go too deep into it because I you know it was something I just wanted to do for mainly to put pictures in not for show and tell as far as you know make it elaborate I just wanted to be able to use it and not just look at it there's a photo mat in here with a pocket this came from the kit this came from the kit all the paper you see in here came from the kit and then I've got a pocket in here this pulls out make sure I get it on the camera and then I left this wide on purpose and you open it up and you can put your pictures on top of this and then put it back inside I've got a couple pages like that in there and that came from the kit and then I've got a tag in here and then I've got this piece here I was thinking about magnetizing this I may still do that but it's folded down pretty good so I don't think I'm going to really use it but put a magnet in it but anyway that's what I'm thinking and then I've got a photo mat in here again this embellishment came from the kit and then turn the page again another tag and you can see these pages here will fit a four by six picture in here easily and then this came from the kit there's my little butterflies again I just like I said I love the butterfly it's so cute and tiny and this one here is like the other piece only it opens up the opposite direction I may put uh, paper on that white piece yet I'm not sure but I like the idea of just keeping it white because it goes so well with my book sometimes I have a hard time putting these back in upside down and then another page and then another piece from the boutique and another mat and basically that's it for the book the lace came from uh, Loretta Harwell on, on uh, one of my or one of the uh, giveaways that she did so there's my front a lot of stuff came from the boutique a lot of stuff I had in my stash and a lot of stuff was just some wonderful items that people had racked me with which I didn't know what rack was until Shirlene Wilcox had told me what rack was so <laughs> and I left the back of it plain because the paper, you know, to me the paper speaks for itself. I don't know how well you can see it, but the paper pretty well speaks for itself. I promise you my lighting and everything will be better once my husband gets those cabinets done. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this project. I didn't do anything to the bottom of the box. I still may do something to it. I left it and I'll probably put white paper on the bottom of it, kind of stress it a little bit with a Tim Holtz distressing tool, which I got through uh, the boutique and I think that's it so I hope you enjoy it and uh, please let, if you haven't subscribed to me please do so and check out the other YouTube channels and the scrapbooking with me boutique page and you'll see a lot of items on there and you'll have a ball bunch of great ladies on there thank you God bless and have a great and wonderful day